Guess where we're heading today. Step one, wake up for the gong rat and sun. Step two, be some good, some fun in you. Step three, be grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. We started off the tour with a complimentary tour of the Maritime Gallery. But the main attraction was really the lighthouse, which had been recently opened to the public, which also took forever to get tickets for. After the gallery tour and a short toilet break, we embarked on our boat and was given this little green earpiece where we could listen to our designated grandfather of the day, who told us about interesting facts of the surrounding waters and the islands that we passed by. But I was pretty much distracted the whole ride because uh, it was ridiculously hot and my hat flew off my head twice so strangers had to help me pick up my hat which is kind of embarrassing but the view was stellar and while well, everyone was gathering at the front of the boat my introverted ass decided to head to the back of the boat for a butt-free view Hello? Hi? I don't know what's happening I'm currently on the way to the Raffles Lighthouse After like fucking 3 months like, We're finally reaching the lighthouse which is great But everyone's taking photos outside I'm gonna sit down here and just chill Cause it's really too crowded already Upon reaching the island on Pula Satu Where am I going? It's so hot The sun is totally not giving me sun cancer Wow, quite nice ah, huh? not bad ah. Huh? We were yet again pleasantly surprised with another museum tour filled with equipment used to operate the lighthouse in the past. <laughs> Dumpy. Hey, sorry, on the way up, on the way up, going, going, going. <laughs> After that, it took 88 steps to get to the top of the 29 meter tall lighthouse building. And yes, I did really die. But the view was pretty decent though. Good job. <laughs> Before I had the time to really take in the view, we had to go down to make room for the second group. Mind you, this one-way stairway to the lighthouse was really claustrophobic. So while the second group was ascending the one-way street to claustrophobia land, I took the time to appreciate my sandwich and the really good view. Which was barely enough time because we had to zoom off to the lower half of the island where our tour guide was and she told us about the turtle egg she found on the island which was really interesting. Hey, she was showing pictures on a really small flat and my eyesight is not the best in the world, okay? After her brief presentation, we had a chance to walk around the island to look see, look see. Finally here, Honey got a chance to settle down. And like, you see Raffles Lighthouse, it's like right about there. Like, people are still climbing up on it. I've got to climb it. I was really tired. And now I'm walking around the island uh, to admire the nature, I guess. Yes, uh, they say they, there are turtle eggs here. I'm hoping I can get lucky and find them. But maybe can, maybe cannot. But yeah, pretty cool. Very, very nice scenery. Wait, let me show you. But look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? Really nice. Yeah. And I think it's really interesting because they said one of our uh, original founding fathers locked himself up in like this island itself and then like wrote his speech here. So I think that's pretty cool. So this palm is the southernmost, which is very interesting. Yes, indeed. And down there is the southernmost point, which I'm not gonna go because I'm afraid with like my dexterity, uh, my agility, I would fall down. So we're gonna stay here at the southernmost palm and not fall into the water. Yeah. But then I decided to go anyway because you know the gram, which resulted in me almost falling and a very shook auntie. 
and that's all the time I had because we were already called back to the boat which really sucks because I swear it was only 15 minutes and all I managed to accomplish was to offend an auntie. After that, I fell asleep on the ferry, probably tuckered out from taking 88 steps up to the top of the lighthouse, but I woke up when we started disembarking the boat. Generally, I thought the tour was really educational and fun. However, it was a real shame we didn't get enough time to enjoy and take in the island. Because if I'm honest, I feel like I was a chicken being shooed from one area to the next. Also, if I don't need to wake up at 7am just to camp to get these tickets, that would be great. But overall, a really illuminating tour. Get it? <laughs> it's gonna be a good day.